Hey everybody, this is Queenie Clam with Queenie's Book Talk and Reviews. And today is Vlogmas number 20. Yes, I didn't do one for the 20th either. So here you go. Are you ready? This is my December mail haul. Are you ready? Okay. My first book is this little book right here. His Christmas Redemption by Dakea Favorite. It is, oh my goodness. It is 215 pages. Tis the season for forgiveness. Is this the first step to their second chance? So I can see it. Lance Drummond doesn't do Christmas, not after the tragic loss of his daughter or the painful divorce that followed. But when his ex-wife Aaron is injured, Lance moves in temporarily to help her make the holidays perfect for her nephews. Amid all the merry making, Lance realizes he's falling for Aaron again. After so much heartache, can love bring them back together? And that's what this is about. Okay. That's my first book I got. Then um, I got a book. It's by Sonya B. You don't see that? Kind of fuzzy. I don't know why it's not coming in. Um, it's Out of the Blue. Blue Andora, Andora, the owner of Silky Ink Tattoo Shop, finds herself and her wolf in some very strange predicaments. Little does she know these events will turn her whole world upside down. From bumping into the weird stranger at the bakery to finding her true mate that she doesn't want, or does she? Then throw in having to deal with the past family drama. What's a girl to do? Find out what happens in this funny, sex sexy, action-filled tale to see how it works out for her. Y'all see the cover? Okay. My next book is by Tracy Lawson, Counteract, book one of the Resilience series. And I'm going to try to read it. Who do you trust when your world unravels and everything you believe is a lie? From the first 15 years, the Office of Civilian Safety and Defense has guarded the public against the rampant threat of terror terrorism. Teenagers Tommy and Kareen have never known life without the government approval, civil, civilian restrictions. For them, there's no social media. No one is allowed to gather in public places or attend concerts or sporting events. Only a small selected group of, of adults have driving privileges. It's a small price to pay for safety. Now a new and more deadly terrorist threat looms. Airborne chemical weapons that can be activated without warning. The OCSD is ready with an antidote to counteract these effects of the toxins. Three drops a day is all it takes. It's a small price to pay for your help. Tommy and Corrine obediently take the antidote, either consider stopping when strange things begin to happen. The day the disaster siren signals the dreaded attack, 
Tommy shares his last dose with Kareem, even though doing so might hasten his death. It is a small price to pay for a friend. And then it says, follow Tommy and Kareem as they uncover a web of lies and deceits, reaching to the brightest, the highest level of the United States government and join an underground resilience group that determines to expose the truth. So that's what that one's about. It is a thriller. Okay, the next book I have is by Jay Barkley. Brinkley, excuse me, Jay Brinkley. Uh, Afraid to Love You, I think that's what it is, Afraid to Love You, yes, Afraid to Love You is a chunky one. Um, let me see if I can read this one, because it's kind of hard. A Voice of My Ancestors Public Re Publications. After losing her husband to a tragic accident, Stephanie Dunyard finds herself a single parent of two beautiful daughters. After years of struggling alone, she suddenly swept off her feet and finds comfort in the arms of a new man, a handsome, smooth talker, a handsome, smooth talking truck driver named Mike. Mike soon moves into the home Steph Stephanie shares with her young daughters, Anita, a teen who possess exotic features, much like her father. She has a passion for helping others and dream of one day becoming a nurse, just like her mother. Lasagna, on the other hand, look just like her mother, but possesses the business of her father and pursues a career in business management. Lasagna was the perfect big sister and loved Anita dearly. Anita and Lasagna both dislike Mike, but there is dislike for him misplaced, or is there a more sinister side to him that hasn't yet surfaced? Stephanie finds herself torn between the man that she loves and the daughter who, who she adores. Will she be forced to make a decision between them? While Anita is left fighting the demon that accompanies, accompanies, accompany, accompany, accompany nightmares, bitter memories, and depression, Lasagna is left trying for her best to hold the family together by searching for her own piece of happiness. Will the family ever regroup? Will Anita ever be the same innocent, carefree spirit she once was before evil crept in to rob her of all that was pure? Okay, and I'm gonna show y'all why I couldn't read the back. But that is um, Afraid to Love You by Jay Brinkley. The next two books are by Rose Jackson Beavers, A Sinner's Cry, and Broken Spirit. Okay? A Sinner's Cry. Denise Reese's life seems as if it is on a course to perfection until a single phone call crushes her reality and leaves her heart broken and vulnerable. As she attempts to rebuild her shattered life, Denise seeks soul in the confines of the church that she walked out of years ago and swore to never return. As she struggles to gain redemption, the ringing of her phone continues to haunt her and impede her progress. In the midst of her struggles, she receives support from the nearly appointed pastor, the handsome James Davis. While the two attempt to walk the right path, they must combat the lies and deceit that those closest to them are spreading. Once Denise learns to de decipher between lust and love, she realizes, even from a struggling sinner, God hears sincere cries. Wow, that's going to be a good one. I hope y'all can see that. And then... um. <clears throat> I have, trying to stack them up, y'all, just bear with me. The second book uh, by Rose Jackson Beavers is Broken Spirit. And I love this cover. And it says, what do you do when your miraculous, miraculous plans are inconceivably changed? Can you ever have control over your life? 
what actions can lead you to your destiny or to disaster? And can we ever truly see the big picture? Stephanie Whitmore had it all, a young wealthy business businesswoman with a sexy and positive attitude engaged to a man women salivate to spend time in his company. Donnie Johnson, all-American successful computer analyst with a passion for mentoring troubled youth, love women. At the long business trip, Stephanie arrived a day early to, to Donnie's house to find her fiance in a compromising position. With thoughts of suicide dancing in her head and the evil voice uh, encouraging her to kill herself, nothing could satisfy the pain in her heart but death. But God had other plans for her life, and once she listened to his voice, her life would be changed forever. Pastor Daniel Winston served as the pastor of a large church in an urban community. A single man who longed to find a wife stayed in prayer, asking God to bless him. When Stephanie rushed into his church covered in blood, he wanted to help her. When their hands touched, he experienced a spark that would unite a fire in his heart so deep he almost became blind to her issues and couldn't determine if he was trying to help her or himself. But God is involved. But when God is involved, nothing is as it seems. And with his plans, the, re the road to redemption may be rough, but the results are fulfilling. That look like it's a good read too, y'all. Okay, and my last book I got this week from the, in the mail is by Teresa Turney, Love Pour Over Me. It says, read Love Pour Over Me to find out what happens to Raymond, a man desperate to avoid the one thing he needs most, love. But the greatest love of, the, of these is, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13 and 13. Love will find and heal the most broken, broken hearted, disappointed, abused, and ashamed. Love has come. There's no turning back. Wow. That's the man on top, and that's the woman on the bottom. And this is the back, and this is also a chunker. So those are my, my book haul for my mail haul, excuse me my mail haul for December. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. Again, this is Queenie Clem with Queenie's Book Talk and Reviews. Happy reading. Bye, y'all. Have a good day.